Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is my final part of my sale video. As you can see in front of your screen is my curious cat, not knowing what this is, that it's a camera and not food or toy. He's been hanging out with me as I've been doing these videos and uh, kind of being a, a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, so this is part four. I'm going to be doing all my singles, you know, leftover uncomplete set type stuff um, for you. Um, go over the rules again. Prices are in the description. I'm not going to go over it except for one part in the actual video. So check out my description for the prices for each card or a lot of card. Some of them I have lots of combined them together. Uh, so look down. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, it would just take too long if I if I did it any other way. Um, the prices may not be 100% accurate or fair or whatever. Um, so feel free to haggle if you want. Just be reasonable. Show proof. Back it up. Don't comment below in the description. Like I said, all my videos, by being a dirt jerk, by saying some of these are high. Because some of them are low. Some of them are right on the money. I'm sure a very few are going to be a little high, but not that many. Um, takes a lot of time to research all of the items, as you see. Um, so just bear with me, please. I've been out of the game for a long time. Um, so I did my best. My best obviously isn't going to be great the first time around. We'll get it over time. This isn't going to be my last sale video. I can assure you of that. So you'll probably see the prices go down or up or fluctuate or whatever, depending on the market and what people tell me. Um, if there's any things that are missing price-wise, let me know. Send me an offer. Um, as for my rules, I don't send first or same time. I'm only accepting cash, USD, PayPal. I will accept PayPal invoice or eBay, um, but you have to pay the fees for those. Keep that in mind. Shipping starts at $3 for United States and goes up. $7 for international and goes up. Um, depending on what you get, how much you get. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, hopefully this video won't be crazy long. I'm going to go through all of my non-binder cards and then go through my binders and then we'll see. Um, the majority of the cards are going to be in, you know, near mint or better. Um, I'm not a PSA grader, so if you're looking to get cards graded, just buy at your own risk. I'm not going to go into how mine are different or the same as PSA or whatever. Mine are different. I don't go by their scale. I go by my own scale, which is near mint and then, and, you know, near mint or better. I don't go with the mint cards. Uh, I don't even say that. So just keep that in mind. Um, and it, my cards may be really great. They, you know, some, you know, everyone has their own opinion, which is the problem. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, my rules are in the description. I'm going to say it for this. I didn't say it for all the other videos, but I, because I, I completely forgot, but now I'm remembering. I don't do returns or exchanges, period. You have to pay me, you know, in a, in a fair amount of time. Don't take your time. Uh, I'll have those rules in the description uh, just to let everyone know. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. we will start off with the part where I'm actually going to go over the prices because they're kind of confusing because um, they're all in a binder. Three bucks each, one dollar each, and then everything here, three bucks each, um, three bucks each, a dollar, three, uh, dollar each. All these are a dollar each on this page. All of these are a dollar each. All of these three dollars each, three bucks each. Dollar. Well, these are in the price in the description. Um, three bucks each. Three bucks each. Three bucks each. Dollar each. And then all these vending cards. Five bucks for the whole lot. Or you can offer me a price on the actual box. My cat's over there. Being a dick, of course. It's going around. Jesus Christ. Okay, moving along. I did forget to show a PSA card, PSA 9, Charizard, Gold Star. Forgot to show that. Sorry about that. Price and description. Okay. We have all of my excellent to near mint condition cards. Price and description for these. Oh crap, hold on kitties, I have to stop my cat. Sorry about that. Cat is biting on my cords, which is a no-no. Alrighty, let's get back to it and hopefully 
she doesn't bug me again. Ugh. I hate how I'm sitting for this. This makes it really, really difficult to do this part. But we'll go we'll see what happens. So like I said, the these are all excellent or you know better depending on the card. Which is why the price and the description you'll see it as excellent or better. They're all like the same price. I forget if they're all two dollars or three dollars, so I'm not even gonna bother commenting. But you'll see them in the bottom. These are all my prime cards. And make sure when you're telling me, give me a timestamp, especially for this video of what you're wanting. Um, so I know, because I have, you know, this lot, which is my excellent or better, and then I have another lot, which is EX cards and stuff, which is near mint or better. Um, so I want to keep them separate. So I don't give you the wrong one, which would suck. Because I hate doing, fixing stuff. This whole lot... I had this for a whole price. These are all my VS extras. It's just one price for the whole lot. And then I got all these energies. So that's in the description as well. I got some E-Series cards. You can make me an offer on the full lot. These are E-Series ones. But I do have the price per card in the description. I think it's like four or five bucks for the hollows and the dollar for the non-hollows. E-Series two. Trying to go through these relatively quickly because this video is going to be relatively long. Um, like I said before, if you're interested, if you don't want to watch the video, I do have all the prices in the description. They run out of space. They're going to be in the, um, whatchamacallit, the comments, which I probably will because I have something like 300 lines on my Excel spreadsheet just for this video. So that, yeah, man, you know, going to take up some space. E Series 5. I actually got a lot of E Series 5 non hollows. Opened up a lot of these packs back in the day. I just got a lot of extras. Um, some are first edition, some are unlimited. Just to let everyone know. So if you're looking for first editions, um, please tell me. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you whatever you say in the video that you wanted. Um, so keep that in mind. See, that's unlimited, unlimited first edition, first edition. So they're, they're mixed in there for sure. Um, but the prices are not different because they're equally as rare. Let me tell you. Um, so, oops. Got to make sure I don't sort of like that. All right. Next up, we've just got some, uh, 10th movie promos. The non and a PSA grade. We got some player promos. Pause and freeze, not a walk, Veneery, sealed. Simple, simple, simple on those. Uh, going up next, we got the EX cards. These are my near mentor better ones, like I said before. Tons of the Charizards. Tons of the Blastoise. I got the quantities. I probably won't do the quantities in the description, but if, if you're wanting multiple, just tell me. Dragonites, tons of Dragonites, tons of hair crosses. The other EX lot, which are in near mint or better. Same thing, if you're looking for a first edition or unlimited, please be specific. Even if you can't tell, just say, hey, can you make sure this is first edition or unlimited? And I will do that, all these Emolgas. Um, because some of these are not unlimited, unlimited, unlimited for first edition. So please keep that in mind before you go and purchase. I'm trying to help you out, trying to help me out as well so I can better serve you. Like I said before, I don't hold anything. I'm just going over random stuff because I'm bored. These videos are not the coolest thing to do. They are relatively boring. We got through my first box. Yay! I have four tins to go. Now I'm gonna put this up here. I wanted to do the box first so I could do that. <laughs> I can actually oh, see. Alrighty. Opening it up. Boom. We do have a, um, this is a complete E-Series 
3 set. I actually do have a complete E-Series 3 set. All the cards. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Complete E-Series 3 set. Um, it's not all first edition. There are a tiny, maybe a select few unlimited cards in here. Or maybe I'm just retarded, but I'm just go with that just in case. So price for that is in the description of probably one of the other videos on accident. Um, we got a near complete E series one. I have a total number of hollows and then non hollows um, in there in the description, by the way, for that. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If you want to make sure it has a specific card, let me know what specific card. I'll check it out for you. I promise. I promise. I'll do that. Okay, so we got the. It's probably this lot has all the random stuff. These are all three are together. They're it's like excellent near mint for the Amakuni and then like excellent the near mint. These are pretty close. Actually, are these all near mint? I would say they're pretty close to near mint actually. But just in case, they may be a tiny bit, you know. I don't want to fudge it. The, these three are all together as well. Um, they are all excellent condition cards. Or the boost isn't, it comes with a rainbow, my bad. So it comes with a rainbow, not the boost. We got this sealed card as well. We got the Misakis, which are in um, near mint condition, with this, the exception being the Machamp, which is an excellent. And the Ammonite, which is excellent because it has a tiny mark there. <clears throat> yeah. Got that. Pairing these two together, pairing these two together, in the description as usual. <clears throat> Greg Ninja set, all the hollows or cards in it. And then I got some EXs, got four guard chomps, three Greg Ninjas. I got the Charizard EX. We got M Blastoise, M Genghis Khan, more Korra Korra, Charizard EXs. Yes, they're separated because I didn't have time to unseparate them, so you'll see them in the sealed video. Well, you've already seen them in the sealed video. I apologize for that. Nothing I can do. I only have so much time in the day. And I ran out. I'm not going to lie. I ran out of time. Because I want to get this video up. Poke Park, Near Mint or Better. Um, if I do find one like this, um, I'll do like half off of this one. Um, but for the most part, I would say 99%. Since I just found that one or near mint or better condition Poke Park cards. Um, but if I do find it, I'll let you know. And I'll discount it if you still want it. But I'm not perfect. Some cards probably fell through the cracks. I apologize. Sealed Poke Park cards, near mint or better. Obviously, they're sealed. Pretty cool sealed stuff. I do have this lot that I'm going to be selling. The price is in the description. It has all these rares from base set. There's a ton of them. Look at all these rares. It's in one lot. Ooh, sorry, it's getting unfocused. There you go. Near mint or better for 99%. And they have the promo in there. Ultras in there. We got some of the shiny collections. All a lot together. As a single price. We got all of my pre-release and winner cards. Got a ton of extras. Pre-release, pre-release, all near winter better, promos, 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 promos. I'm going to check the Pikachus real quick, make sure they're in the same condition. Yep. Okay, okay. Got all those done. Yay. One, ten left. And then we're going to go on to my binders. Stoked about that. We got the uh, near mint or better, um, no rarity, first edition Japanese base set cards. And then we got uh, Raichu, Base Set, Hitmonchan, Gyarados. I'm selling these three as a lot, if I remember correctly. Together, we got some sealed promos. Japanese sealed promos. Um, if you're wanting the full lot of Japanese promos, let me know. We can work out a deal. Alright, so all of my tins are done. Now we're going to go on to my... Uh, single 
cards in the binders. I'm going to get rid of my tin now so that I can just uh, show you. Um, these are going to be probably in the top portion of the description um, price-wise because I just have like all of the like the new Japanese EF cards are set price. All the old ones are a set price. So look for those. Don't look for the actual card names for all of these. Look for, for it gives you the general price for all of the cards. Um, like all my full arts are for one price. Um, so you'll see old school, new school, Japanese, English, level X, old school, new school. Um, same thing applies if you're wanting to make sure something's first edition. Let me know. Pause the video if you need to. These are obviously all my Japanese cards. Um, some of them may be unlimited. I don't know. They kind of get mixed up. I do have set prices for my Megas now. The prices of the Megas have gone up. Um, a little bit according to eBay, so I'm raised mine a tiny bit. First binder down, and we've got six more binders to go. Ooh, we'll save that one for last. That one's a cool one. Uh, Charmeleon reprint, or not reprint, Secret Rare, some Secret Rares here. Pretty cool stuff. We got VS, those two VSs are together. We got, uh, some primes, alpha liftographs, English ones, Japanese primes, full arts, Japanese Arceuses. All of my Arceuses are now together. I finally put them together. Yay. My cat is now coming back in the room. My other cat trying to bite my binders. I bite my binders. The good thing is they don't bite the cards. They bite everything around the cards, which is crazy. I'm going to have to push them away. <laughs> Damn cats. Going over there. Crazy kitty. That's the other one. Uh, we got some player promos coming up. You saw all the ones that were there. We got those three. We got those three. Those two. And then these are uh, near complete sets. They're the, I don't know, out of 111 and then Japanese X and Y2. They're near complete. If anyone's really interested, let me know. I don't have a price on those and they won't be in the description. Um, I can tell you how many cards are missing hollow wise or full arts if anyone's really interested in those. Otherwise, those will be coming in later edition videos um, when I have a little bit more time to do those. So like I said, it's pretty much the majority of my collection, but not entirely my full collection. <clears throat> Level X card, so just check in the description for the old and new school Japanese and English Level X portion. I'll tell you the set price for all of those. All of these, like, all the stuff in my binders are pretty much near mint or better. Um, there might be one or two cards here and there that are not. I should have written those in the description. If I missed it, I will check before I send you the card. Um, so I will tell you if, hey, sorry, this is not near mint or better. Um, just FYI. Um, so. We've got uh, a few more binders to go. Going to make it probably to 30 minutes like I expected. That's all right. If you have made this far, the ending is going to be pretty cool. That binder, that big binder that I didn't go through yet. It's a pretty cool binder. It has tons of random cards are separated out by uh, color or type, if you want to call it. I just put a color because it was the first thing that came to my mind. Japanese Level X's, guys. Really hard to find these. And the prices are really reasonable. Let me tell you, my prices are really reasonable for the Japanese items. It's because not a lot of people are collecting the Japanese uh, Level X sets anymore. I don't know why. All right, we're going into reprints, stuff like that. While I do this, I'm going to take a drink real quick. My Gatorade. Mm. Same thing, near winter better. Some are first edition, some are limited. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. If not, I apologize, ask me. Oh, my back hurts. 20 minutes. Holy crap, guys.
Oh, I'm gonna get on my knees. Maybe that'll help. Probably not. Probably just make it worse. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, no organization either. So you'll see doubles. We got the English ones now. Reprints. Probably been easier if I would have made these, you know, all on the same pages, but that would have taken a ton of time as well. We're going all the way to the back, which we got all of our T promos and then some other sealed promos, those three sealed. We got T promos, two sets of those, all of those, all of those, all of those. And then we got the McDonald's, these are all selling as a set. You'll probably see it, I think, as Ladio, so like Torchic or whatever. I think that's what I put that name wise. So we got three binders left, guys. Two being, you know, the normal, and then one being one that I've never, sh I don't think I've ever shown it in that binder on YouTube yet. A really cool binder. Quick binder, we got a quickie binder. We got many English full arts. More English full art and shiny full arts. Oh my god. I still got my work socks on too. You guys probably saw that and laughed. Core Core, Charger EXs, English, English, Gradon, Kyogre EX, English, EX, old school. EX, old school. Or new school, my bad. Those are new school. English. Alrighty. Got my ultra rare binder, guys. The two last binders right here and here. So we got the ultra rare. You guys have seen this one before. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there might be a few cards in here that are not near mint or better, um, but those are written. I'm pretty sure written like my Latios right here are not near mint. I think they're excellent. I think this one's also excellent. But I do, and this one too, but I do have a Latios first edition gold star that is in near mint um, condition, which is coming up. I kept it separate. Boom, right there. Core Core Mew in there as well. And not a walk. Another not a walk. Hitmonchan versus base set. Shining Charizard. Gyarados. They're signing Charizard. It's like near mint, I would say. My cat went over to the left. Reverse. Crystals, Japanese crystals. You got the Charizard Unlimited Edition. And there is the back. It's got a tiny bit of top left and bottom right and bottom left. Other than that, it's nice. These are the backs of those. That and a bat. I think these are kind of like excellent condition. Oh yeah, extremely rare uh, Meowth non-hollow rally GB promo card. And we got some Mew cards. All my Mew cards. Oh Mew. All my Mew cards. At least most of them. <laughs> and then I don't have anything else. All right, guys, last binder. Let's do it. Home stretch, guys. This is the fun binder. These are all the duplicates and stuff that I've been collecting over the years. They're just cards that caught my eye and I just I just kind of like. So we got base set two, new revelation. Look at all these different types of cards, not shadowless. Got some Japanese, we got some English, first editions, four position only is coming up. We got my Charizard pages. Check these out. More core core Charizards. Reverse, near mint or better, near mint or better. Got that from none other than the Charizard Authority a long time ago. Base set, Japanese base sets, Charizards. Tons more Charizards, Charizards, Charizards. Shadowless. Regular base set. The Shadowless is in near mint. That uh, base set is in like excellent. I would say excellent. And then I got more. Boom. And another one that's excellent, I think, right there. And then this one's near mint. Um, so I'll have to go fix that price for the excellent near mint. I did not notice that before. That's why I'm looking here as well. 
So I will change that to make the excellent ones cheaper by like five, ten bucks. My Raichu pages, Raichu Pikachu pages. We really like Raichu and Pikachu. So I collected a lot of them. Some very rare ones. Got another one over there. Birthday Pikachus. E3 Pikachu, E3 Pikachu. Some Japanese promo Pikachus. Zapdos, base sets. Jolteon Ampharos. Got the, um, another promos, and then Blastoise. Time for Blastoise, yeah. So really cool page, really cool pages. Got some Venusaurs, English, Japanese, those three Japanese. We got E-Series 1, we got Base Set 2s, Base Set, we got a Quick Start of Scyther. Those all are really nice condition too. Um, yeah. The D-Stamped Butterfree, Dark Celebi, Meganium. We got Lugia First Edition, Unlimited, Japanese, Togetic. Those are the conditions of those. Really nice condition right there. Um, Erica Dragonair. Blah, blah, blah. I got some. That last two cards are pretty cool too as well. Shadowless First Edition. Pre-release. Shadowless. Pre-release. Pre-release cards. Another pre-release. Pre-release. Salamance. Shattered Hollow. Hollow Porygon. Cool Porygon. I think I'm selling all these as a set right here. And those two as a set. That's alone. Selling all these, all of these as a set, and comes with these as a set. Those two as a set. Those two up top. Those two as a set. Um, got these two as a set with the Terrakion. Then we got the Meow or the Deoxys. This and these two are down here. And then my last two cards are first edition Japanese base set Nine Tails. Here are the conditions, up close and personal. This one's got, I think, tiny nick there, nick there. This one's a little bit better condition there. So that's it. I'm going to go back to my computer, upload these, change the price of those Charizards for the excellent to be cheaper. That's all I got, guys. It's everything. So if you're interested, message me. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions or you're trying to fill in some prices or gaps. Love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'll be lurking, commenting. Um, sorry for all the long videos. Hopefully they'll get shorter over time. Hopefully I'll sell everything. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.